What is up everybody, Triforce Caboose here. I hope you all are having a wonderful day today. If you can hear my voice right now, then you have stumbled into another episode of Go Figure. This is my part of the internet where I am your host and I take you through all things action figures, statues, bust, or anything of the sort, but I won't run my mouth too long. If you want to catch me on any other part of the internet, all the links to my socials are down below. But without me running my mouth, let's get right into today's video, but I hope to see you around, hope you're doing well, and look forward to chatting with you soon. Be safe and be good people, my friends. What is up, guys? Triforce Caboose here. Hope everybody's doing well today, and welcome to today's episode of Go Figure Extra. This is the part of Go Figure where we take a look at something that doesn't necessarily have as much to talk about, and it's just a little side series that I like to do, a lot of times for statues and things like that that are more static. But how could I not pick up the McFarlane Toys Mortal Kombat 11 Spawn statue? I just, I don't know what to say. I'm a huge Spawn fan. I always have been. I walked into a GameStop with intentions of buying not this, and saw this and said, hey, immediately, I have to buy this. Now, you'll notice his little ectoplasm there is fallen out of its case, which is fine. We're going to crack this bad boy open in just a minute. So, yeah, I'm just going to shut up here because I really want to talk about this. So, let's go ahead and get this figure off of the stand and into the hand. So, one thing that I'd like to make known about the statue when it comes to unboxing it is that the cape is very, very, very deep in there. I've actually taken a knife and split some of the plastic here and on this side as well to help getting that out because all of his spikes, especially the ones on the back of the arm are incredibly sharp and I actually stabbed the snot out of myself multiple times trying to get this out of its packaging. But once you get him off of his packaging, it just immediately strikes you how beautiful this statue really is. So yeah, before we start too much talking about him, let's go ahead and take a look at his accessories. So starting with his weapon, you get a nice, I assume assault rifle. It's very bridging the line. I'm not a gun guy, so maybe somebody will tell me what it is. I do know it has a uh, short stock, nice clip, nice paintwork, no actual trigger, but that actually works in uh, to the fact that Spawn's fingers are incredibly beefy and thick. So yeah, um, I do like it. It's got a nice weight to it. Paint deco is nice, nice detail, nice sculpted detail. Like I said, I like this overall. And then the second accessory is actually going to be the uh, ectoplasm, hell flame, whatever you want to call it. Very, very excellent sculpt. Uh, I like the translucent plastic. You have the actual uh, peg here on the bottom, so that way it'll port right into his hand, because his arm does have a slight bit of movement, so you can kind of finesse how you want this to be. But yeah, I really like this. I think the sculpt work is great. These are also quite sharp. They are flexible, so you know, you're not going to get any like breakage or anything like that. They do flex around, but they are quite sharp. So so just kind of keep that in mind. Sit around the campfire and sing our campfire song. Our H-E-L-L-F-I-R-E Hellfire Campfire Song. So before we get too much into Spawn's details, I was going to port the gun into his hand, but I noticed there is an issue here with these being quite destructive. So I did find out that his hand rotates. So what I found was best was to rotate the hand inward and then you can kind of get your fingers in between the cape and the hand to try not to hurt yourself. And I'm trying to look around my camera and do this so that way I can get it on screen because his legs do not move at all. His torso will swivel, so rotate his torso back. That way you can actually kind of give yourself enough room because what you have to do is actually get the handle of the gun in and make sure it's aligned with the trigger finger and then you're just going to rotate the gun onto the hand and then you can rotate the hand. It took me a little bit to get the positioning right because again I had to rotate spawn quite a bit before I could do that. But once you get it, it is an incredibly firm grip and then you can kind of use however you want to like turn his actual hand. It doesn't get a lot. But, so as far as articulation goes, that's about as far as you're going to move that hand. We'll get into the rest of the articulation in just a second. One thing I didn't mention and it's something that I actually forgot. Hey. Hi YouTube, you can see me in the reflection. Um, one thing I didn't mention that you can actually uh, see that I forgot to mention back when I reviewed McFarlane Toys Aridin is I forgot that McFarlane Toys actually has the stands that they put into uh, each of their figures. But one thing that irritates me greatly about these stands is it's actually on the card itself. Because a lot of times what I like to do is when I open a figure, I'll keep the packaging and the card in uh, mint condition, and then later on if I want to repack the figure for shelf space or things like that, I'd like to. But here, there's no way to get the stand off without tearing the actual card. 
So Spawn absolutely needs his stand. So I'm gonna go ahead and take, uh, be as careful as I can tearing this off and we'll take a look at the damage that it causes in just a second. Also, I forgot to mention, I really did wanna show this off, just how magnificent the back of the card is with the product shot. It's just absolutely beautiful. I kind of didn't go over the card. I'm sorry guys, I was in a bit of a hurry with my setup, but then you have his picture with the uh, Hellfire on the side, the Mortal Kombat logo. Obviously you guys saw him in his window box earlier, and then on this side you do get a nice spot varnish Mortal Kombat 11 logo. So I actually, with a little bit of care, was able to get the stand out with minimal damage to the box. So I like that a lot. Um, normally getting the stands out of McFarlane Toys, it shreds the packaging. So it is very nice to see that that was not the case. So guys, bear with me. The spawn is uh, bigger than the scale that I normally work with. So making sure my, with my setup that I'm able to get all of him is important to me. So I'm gonna work with it. So I told you guys that his right hand does rotate his left arm will swivel till it hits the cape back here until it hits the body so there's no way to do a full 360 because there's no joint there it's literally just a swivel for the positioning of his hand and then also his head will rotate much further this way but one of the issues that you do run into is if you rotate his head this way and it's really not showing up on camera but it's like there's a divot in his neck so I recommend like I promise you it looks a lot better on camera. Maybe it'll look better when it's not on this little tiny screen, but his head does move and then his waist. I don't know if it goes a full 360 or not. No, he does not go full 360. And moving it, make sure you know you keep the gun free. And I didn't realize until right now, oh my gosh, it's a stiff joint. I didn't realize until right now that technically you can rotate the foot. I just realized that, I did not know that before. Can you rotate this foot? No. So, okay, so your points of articulation are your waist, your arm, your hand, your head, and your big boy foot. So yeah, I haven't actually used the stand here, the Mortal Kombat branded stand here, so let's put this bad boy on there. Give him some stability in his life. Oh, so the peg rotates, hold on. Huh, okay, well my peg just came clean out of my stand, so that's neat. I'm gonna have to for sure glue that in, because. It doesn't take much to knock that out. So I don't feel like it has a lot of stability. So so I'm gonna end up having to glue that stand because it just keeps being very insecure, um, even trying to get it into the foot. So for now, I do have it taped, but you know, once that peg is secure, it is a, oh, well, hold on, let's, there we go. There, now it's art. But I've been talking so much about mechanically how this figure works, or the statue rather works and everything, and I haven't taken a second to really dig into the fact that this thing is honest to God beautiful. It is a very, very aggressively eye-catching figure. Sorry, that was kind of bugging me. Um, It is still a little wobbly, even on the stand, and I think that just has to do with the fact that the cape is absolutely massive, but I think once I actually get him on the display stand, I'm gonna put him on at the end of the video here on the rotating stand with his base on and see if he can stand. I've had him in the back of my Twitch stream standing on my rotating base without his actual like foot stand on, and he falls quite a bit, so we've stopped that. So I want to see if it works. So we'll check that out in a minute. But yeah, I'm going to actually get him off of his stand and kind of go through some of his... Oop, don't fall now, big boy. Get uh, through some of his actual details. Starting with his head scan, which is just absolutely magnificent. I think the paintwork, the deco, even like the cloth texturing, the seam lines and everything like that. I think all of that looks great. This is his commando outfit for Mortal Kombat 11. Going down to the actual like bullet belt, grenades and everything tucked away down to the nice sculpt work and paint work on the belt. You've got his pouches, even like the multi-layered effect of the actual just black part of the costume. It's layered in with the different textures, it shines very well, nice sculpted details with the uh, belt or bands around the arm. Again, like I said, the cape or the spikes are nasty. I have poked myself quite a bit, but I kind of want my spawn figure to be aggressive. Hand again, sculpt work, 
absolutely phenomenal. You can even see here like the little ridges and like they're all the base red but they're all sculpted out so well. Now let's look at the coup de gras if you will. This beautiful textured cape. It has a nice leather-esque texture to it and right on down to the way it's sculpted at the bottom. It's obviously sculpted in like a blowing in the wind type pose and while it's very heavy and very thick plastic it's not going to break or anything like you can see here as the plastic comes out these little thin bits. It does move quite easily, and the cape itself actually has some give to it without any risk of popping loose. Um, again, just great, great sculpt and paint work all over. Going down to the leg, you actually have the uh, canister. Or these are, again, I'm not a gun guy. These are grenade launcher canisters, right? These are explosive rounds, I think. Uh, pistol, cannot remove the pistol. I would have liked to have seen the pistol able to be removed and maybe put in you know his gun hand that way you have but be able to have the pistol removed and put in his gun hand that way you have the actual assault rifle and then you have the pistol which has like built-in storage on the figure but you know I can't be too picky here then you go down obviously spawn always has this beautiful yet impractical like boot casing because I cannot imagine like Think of how an actual leg works. Like, yeah, we have rotation here, but the way an actual human leg works, he wouldn't, he'd be trying to move his ankle inside of this and it would be just the absolute worst. But excellently sculpted, excellently painted. Again, the spikes are shop, shop, sharp. They're, it's a spike shop. You do get tread on the boots. Nice little uh, legal stuff on the bottom there. And yeah, coming up on this side, you have like, you know, the nice plate. You can tell it's armored. That's just one armored hell spawn. Ow, you gorgeous, gorgeous freaking nature. Another thing that I like about the statue is it does not feel fragile. Like, it is a very, very hefty, hefty boy. And now let's talk about how large this boy is. Because honestly, the scale is something that drew my eye immediately. Just because it was absolutely phenomenally beautiful. So, he stands in. The tip of his head looks to be just above the 10 inch mark with the tips of his collar coming right out almost at the 11 inch mark. So that puts him being right at 26 centimeters to the head and about nine or 29, excuse me, 29 centimeters to the top of the cape. Come on, Spawn. So it looks like if you rotate his body, as you can tell by the way the white pieces lined up in the middle, I've had to rotate his body to secure him on the actual rotating stand here. But if you can get the body rotated correctly to balance the weight of the cape, he'll actually stand really solid. And just look at him, he's a magnificent piece. Spawn is honestly one of my favorite comic book characters. I don't think he gets nearly enough love. I remember being a kid being so excited that he got into the Xbox version of Soul Calibur 2 and then when he got into Mortal Kombat 11, I just remember being excited because Spawn's one of those characters. Um, I don't know, I'll tell you guys how I'm gonna tell a little bit of a personal story with Spawn. So we can kind of, if you want to, I'll have GCX put a timestamp of where I actually get into my next thoughts on the figure. But when I was a kid, I liked Spawn. I didn't know much about him and I'm probably just you know, seven or eight years old, and my parents found in the DVD bargain bin the Spawn HBO animated series. They didn't know anything about it. They bought that DVD for me, and then I got it for Christmas. So guys, talking about that Spawn DVD that my parents got me for Christmas when I was a kid had me thinking. I haven't actually seen that since I moved into my new house. But I took a look at my closet and I actually found the very same DVD and the old kind of cardboard DVD trays. Oh, I need to clean that thing. But yeah, if you'll take a look here at the bottom right there, mature audiences only. This is the uh, complete mini series that HBO Animation did. And it is very much not for kids. I remember being excited after I got it for Christmas. We went to sit down to watch it. And then suddenly everything that you could think that would be for mature audiences was dumped upon a child. And after it was dumped upon a child, my parents had a long discussion over if I could keep that DVD or not. So, Dad, God rest his soul, and Mom, if you watch this, I love you, but that's one of my favorite memories, is just the absolute look of horror on my mom's face whenever she realized what she had gotten me from dear old Santa Claus. So, yeah, that's something I look fondly on, and I just think it's funny I actually still had that around where I could get my hands on it for this review. But guys, in closing, 
you guys know I don't like to rate figures in any sort of like one to 10 system or anything like that. I just like to give you guys my thoughts on the figure before you were to make a purchase. I know I found this in GameStop. I know it retails around the 40 to $45 range. I had a couple of uh, GameStop coupons that got it to $30 for me. Um, honestly guys, it's I recommend it. I thought when I picked this thing up, it was gonna be 50 or $60. So I was very pleasantly surprised by its price tag. It looks magnificent on a shelf. Attention to detail when it comes to paint applications. There is zero sloppy paint applications. There is zero misaligned paint applications. The sculpt work is impeccable. The figure looks magnificent. I say if you're a fan of Mortal Kombat, you're a fan of Spot, buy this thing. It will bring your shelf to life because it absolutely pops. I can't say enough good things about it. And I know the Go Figure uh, Extra episodes are shorter because they're, it's not as much to talk about as far as like articulation or my thoughts on like a statue. This statue is absolutely beautiful. Do not do yourself a disservice and not buy it. I recommend this wholeheartedly. I'm a big fan of Spawn, big fan of Mortal Kombat. Those two things crossing over was like a kid in a candy store moment for me. This is a beautiful statue. Go buy it. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that is my thoughts on the Commando Spawn Mortal Kombat 11 McFarlane Toys. It says it's not a toy. It's from McFarlane Toys. I call it a statue. I don't know what they would call it. I'm calling it a statue. It's great. I love it. If you like Spawn, go buy it. But if you don't take anything away from the, this review other than the thoughts of the actual figure for me, I do want you to take a second to think about how great you are as a human being. Remember, you have worth and you deserve happiness. And I hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourself, and living your best life. I love you guys. I hope you are all doing well. And until we meet up again for our next crazy and wacky figure review, as always, the pleasure is all mine. This boy's got to go up on my shelf. And this caboose is loose. And leaving the station. Be safe and be good people, my friends.